In this video, we're gonna go over the top five things that you can disable in your Windows 10 to make it more secure. Stay tuned. What is going on everybody? Today we are gonna look at my top five list of things that you can disable on your Windows 10 machine to make it more secure. So without further ado, let's head on over to the computer and take a look. So coming in at our number five spot, we have to disable communication with unpaired devices. So if we go into our privacy settings, we'll just type in privacy in the start menu. And then along the left hand side here, we're going to click on other devices and you can see communicate with unpaired devices. Let your apps automatically share and sync info with the wireless devices that don't explicitly pair with your PC, tablet or phone. This is something that we want to turn off because we don't want an unauthorized or an unpaired device being able to share information between to and from the computer or the phone or whatever that device may be. So what we're going to do is we're going to come on down and toggle that switch off. It takes us to our number four spot and that is to disable the activity history on the computer. So once again, we're going to go into our privacy settings and along the left hand side, we're going to click on activity history and you can see where it says jump back to in, into what you were doing on your device by storing your activity history, including info about websites you browse and how you use your apps and services. My computer, Microsoft, they don't need information about my computer or what I'm doing with it, nor do I like it when I reboot the computer that all of my browser tabs open up. I don't like that, so I'm gonna go ahead and disable that and uh, save the settings from there. And then you can go down here to clear activity history, clear that, it'll say this will clear your activity history from all your devices. You won't be able to resume, or uh, yeah, resume any cleared activities. I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. And number three, that is to disable your tracking location or your location services on the computer. What we're gonna do, again, start menu, type in privacy, and along the left-hand side, you're gonna see a location. Go ahead and left click on that. And you have the option right here, it says allow access to location on this device. If you go through and you read this paragraph, it gives you an understanding or an explanation as to what this particular service does. Now, if you do like to use such as like the weather app, you will want to leave location services on because it does use that to pull that information for your specific location. So in this case, I don't really care about the weather. I have other devices around the house that will tell me that. I'm gonna click on change and I'm going to toggle this switch off and it's going to disable the location services throughout all of the different apps. And you can see down here, if you do choose to leave it on, you can go through and disable individual apps that use the location services. Going into number two, we have disable your ad tracking. Once again, Microsoft does not need all of this information about you, about what you're doing. They use an option or a service on the computer that's ad tracking that basically tailors ads or games or suggestions to you. There's no reason for them to have that information. So what we're gonna do, once again, go down to start menu, type in privacy and along the left hand side here you are going to want to stay under general because you have your change privacy options here and it says right here at the top let apps use advertising id to make more ads more interesting based on your app activity we're going to toggle all of these off once again to me they don't need this information and there's no reason for them to have it and last but not least and the number one thing that i believe you should disable on your windows 10 is cortana cortana is microsoft's ai system that goes through listens, collects even more telemetry data about the computer, your history. So we're gonna go through, I'm gonna show you how to disable those settings as well. So what we're gonna do, go down to the start menu and we're gonna go to settings this time and you're gonna see an option that says Cortana at the bottom left, go ahead and left click on that. And there's gonna be an array of bunch of information in here. It says, let Cortana respond to, hey Cortana, keep my devices from sleeping when it's plugged in. I'm gonna disable that because I don't want to use or don't need to use Cortana at all. If you do like having the voice activation and the AI assistant there, then you will want to leave Cortana on. However, they do have a lot of information that they collect with that, and there's no reason for them to have that. And once again, I'm gonna let Cortana listen to my commands. I don't want them to be able to do that. Third option is use Cortana even when my device is locked. If my device is locked, I don't want anybody to have access to it. I don't want any information going out as much as I can prevent that. So I am going to disable that. So on the left-hand side, you can see where it says permissions and history. We're gonna left click on that. You will want to manage the information Cortana has access to, such as uh, like emails, contacts, things like that. It will integrate with that. Safe search, I'm okay with that. Moderate is perfect, it's gonna go through. That is a default setting. However, this is default on as well. Windows Cloud Search, uh, show my cloud content into Windows Search. If you use uh, like OneDrive where you have information stored in that, like documents, things like that, you may wanna leave that on because if you're trying to search for a file, 
you may want to include your OneDrive or your cloud-based content in order for it to search that as well. I don't have that. I don't use OneDrive, so I'm going to disable that. And then of course, again, Microsoft doesn't need the activity history on my computer. I'm going to disable that. I'm going to disable activity recommendations, and I'm also going to disable my device history and then clear it as well. So once again, Microsoft uses this information to tailor the experience more towards you. However, they don't need that information. This is your PC and you should customize it the way you want. So you will want to go through all of these and determine what works best for you. Hey guys, thanks for spending some time with me today. If you found the video useful, give it a like, give it a share. And just a quick question of the day before you go, what other settings did you disable to make your Windows 10 more secure? Leave your answers in the comment section below the video. And of course, while you're down there, don't forget to smash the subscribe button, hit the bell icon for future notifications, and we will see you in the next one.